Hi, today in this video I'll show you how to install Windows in Mac using Bootcam. And using this method, you can install Windows 10, only the latest version of Windows in your Mac with the software provided by Apple. It is quite easy and fast as well. And you can get the Windows experience without having to work in VirtualBox. So let's get started. Before doing anything, please make sure that you have saved every document or anything that is still open and also back up your data in an external drive if possible or in the cloud just in case if anything goes wrong it is always better to back up everything in an external drive first you need to download an iso image of windows 10 and for that open a browser that can be safari or any other so let's open safari in safari in the search bar type download windows 10 iso image then press enter Here you will get lots of options, but click on the one that says microsoft.com. So let's choose this one. And from here you can download the ISO image. So just in case, if you want to see the link, check this microsoft.com. Don't download anything from some other web pages because this is the genuine one. And under here, select Windows 10 under select edition and then click on confirm. And then in the product language, select your language. Then again, click confirm. Now you have two options, 64 bit and 32 bit. I recommend 64 bit download, but I have an old Mac, so I'll go with 32 bit download. Then click on allow in this new window. Now your download has started and you need to wait until this download is complete. And once it is completed, you will find this ISO image under downloads in your Mac. After the download is complete, now open Bootcamp Assistant. You can open it from Launchpad or press Command and Space together and type Bootcamp Assistant in Spotlight Source and then double click on Bootcamp Assistant. And in this window, click on Continue. Then it will take few minutes to remove the cache from your Mac so that it can make more space. Then in this new window, under ISO image, click on Choose and then select the image that you just downloaded from Microsoft web page. And then click on open. And under this FPS container disk one, you can choose how much space you want to allocate for Windows. And you need to be aware that once you assign the space for Windows, you won't be able to change it again. So be careful about that. Since I have 128 gigs of Mac, I will be able to choose only 42 gigs for Windows. And once you assign the space, click on install. Now the bootcamp will download Windows support software and then partition the disk and copy the Windows files in the partition and do lots of other things. And it may take around 20 minutes depending on what Mac you are using. So you will just have to wait until this finish. In the next window, you will have to enter the username and password so that Bootcamp Assistant can make changes in your Mac. So type in your password and then click on OK. Once you do that, your Mac will restart by itself. So make sure that you save everything, maybe documents or anything else that are still open and then close every other application and then click on OK. Then your Mac will restart and you will get this window. And from here, you will set up Windows as you are installing Windows using a CD or USB drive. So let's continue with that. And in this window, select the language and your time and currency format and then keyboard input method. Then click next. If you have the Windows activation key, you can type in your key and then click next or click on I don't have a product key and I'll show you how to activate Windows 10 after we complete this. Under the Windows operating system that you want to install, Select Windows 10 Pro M and click on next. And in this next window, click on I accept the terms and conditions and click next. And in this window, select the partition that says bootcamp and which have the space that you allocated before from the bootcamp and click on next. Now the Windows installation has started and it may take up to 20 minutes. So just wait until this finish. Here, select your region and click on yes. Then select keyboard layout 
and then again click on yes you can add a second keyboard layout or just escape if you don't want and in this window if you want to sign in with microsoft while you are installing windows you can connect to the network and sign in but i don't want to do that so i'll just click on i don't have internet and in the next window i will again click continue with limited setup here type in your name and then click on next now type in your password and again confirm your password you will have to choose three security questions and answer each of them so just in case if you forget your password you can restore your password by answering these questions answer all of these three questions and click on next in this window i will deselect all of these options because of privacy reasons and click on accept click on no if you want to set up cortana click on accept or not now again you will have to wait for around 10 minutes or even more so just wait until you get to the next screen your windows installation has finished but still wait few minutes so that you can see this window bootcamp because after you install windows you will want your drivers to work such as internet and bluetooth and everything else so to activate those features in windows bootcamp will install drivers and if you can't see this window that means your driver may not work later so just wait a few minutes until you see this and then click on next and wait until this installation is finished Once the installation is finished, restart your PC. Now check if you can connect to the internet or not. If you can connect to the internet then if any other drivers are missing you can install them from the internet. And if not check the description I will put a link on how to install Wi-Fi and other drivers. If you got some error while installing the windows. On the taskbar, there will be this bootcamp from where you can manage few settings. Click on bootcamp control panel and here under trackpad select tap to click. You can just tap and that will work as click. Now you have two operating system in your Mac. So if you want to open in any of these, when you restart your Mac, Press and hold option key on the keyboard until you see this window. And here you can see the options on which operating system you want to load. Select the operating system that you want to open and click on that. You can also set up the primary operating system that you want to load every time you open your Mac. For that, open your Mac operating system and click on system preference. Under system preference, you can see startup disk on the bottom of this window. Click on that. And here, click on lock icon and type in your password so that you can access the options in this window. Once you click on lock, you will be able to choose one of these. If you select bootcamp, your Mac will start with Windows every time you open your Mac or if you select Macintosh SD your Mac will open with Mac OS every time you open your Mac and that is how you install Windows in Mac using Bootcamp Assistant to activate Windows 10 or to install the missing drivers check the link in the description for the video if you have any problems just type them in the comment and I will get back to you thanks for watching the video 
please like and subscribe for more videos